Welcome back guys. So now is the time to start posting up your Terra Onion Mega SD for auction on eBay. Start selling your Sega CD consoles because we have some amazing news concerning the Mr. Project. Yes, we have a Sega CD slash Mega CD core FPGA goodness. This is amazing stuff. So today we're going to be taking a look at how to get this installed, what we need to get it running and testing it out a little bit. So obviously I know not everybody's going to want to get rid of their Mega SD or sell their Sega CD consoles, but I've heard it from plenty of people that the Mr. Project is replacing a lot of consoles for them and they've been getting rid of a lot of these systems that they have. And for me, yeah, I haven't quite done that yet, but I do foresee like this is definitely a system replacer for a lot of people and it could, in my instance, replace some consoles as well over time. It's, it's just amazing stuff. So let's go ahead and get this started. Okay, so our first step is gonna be navigating to this GitHub page. Now, if you do have your updater script ready to go, you're connected to the internet through your mister, you could just run your updater script and be good to go. I like to do things manually and showcase it this way because not everybody is gonna have their system hooked up to the internet. All the links will be in the description for this stuff. Gotta make it easy for you guys. Uh, we do have the release right here, but before we jump into that and install everything, uh, let's look at the, the readme first. So installation, they state place the BIOS to the Mega CD folder with name boot ROM. I'll show that in a moment. Uh, they also talk about they've tested about 150 games uh, without long playing US European regions only uh, without any like real issues. Uh, so essentially they mean they booted the game up, got into it, everything seemed to run fine. Now with this being an early core, uh, for sure we'll find some other issues, but uh, you know, they'll also be addressed over time. So be a little patient. They do have some known issues right now listed, just a handful of games. Most of them, it seems like they hang in the, the intro sequence, Adventures of Batman and Robin, Microcosm and Ultraverse. I've never even heard of that game. Night Trap and a few others here. One disappointing thing at the moment is the RAM cart's not supported. Uh, not a huge deal, but I'm sure over time they'll incorporate that somehow. Our supported image formats, Q plus single images. Uh, Q plus multiple images. Now I'll, I'll show you my file formats in a moment here. Uh, zip is supported, but doesn't work due to long positioning time. So don't zip your images. Don't use zip files for your games. Don't do it. So in order to get this, if you're gonna manually do this, we're gonna click releases on this mega CD for Mr. Page. Now there's only one release right now, uh, but like I've stated before, as time goes on, uh, there'll be new releases with updates, fixes, that kind of thing. Uh, and this list will grow. Always at the bottom will be the newest one. So as you see, it says six hours ago. Go ahead and download it. You'll just click it. And then on this page, just click download and you'll have this RBF file. The next thing you're gonna need to do um, and is gonna be the, pretty much the only way that you get Sega CD running because if you don't update the Mr. Firmware, uh, Sega CD most likely won't run. At least when I tested it without updating, it did not run. And there's a couple other things to note as well that may cause your system not to run. We'll touch on that in a second. Uh, link will be in the description for this, but if you use the updater script, you'll be fine. Bottom of the list, as you see, it's a huge list, always at the bottom. About eight hours ago, this one was released. Download it. You're gonna be throwing that on your SD card. Now, if you need anything else, like the menu here, uh, the last time the menu was updated was about a month ago. Uh, you can download that as well to update your menu. Um, if you go to the main, Mr. Uh, development page. They do have all the cores and different files that have been released and it releases, it shows an order of when they were last updated. So like Neo Geo Mr. was just updated five hours ago as of the recording of this, Arcade Pac-Man, so on and so forth, so on and so forth, fourth <laughs> Mega CD Mr. Uh, and you can scroll down if you wanna just manually see and grab things like Game Boy Advance Mr. was updated 10 hours ago. That's pretty cool, I did not realize that. So you can go through here and just start grabbing the latest stuff if you're not using that updater script. Updater script does come in handy though. So, hey, however you wanna do it. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is plug in our SD card, our micro SD card into our PC, however the hell you should do it, and get these files going. So let's go ahead and shift over to the desktop. Okay, so here we go. This is my Mr. SD card. I've got everything formatted. Your card may not look the same as mine, but pretty much, everything we're gonna do right now is, it's gonna make sense, right? So we wanna get that, that, that Mega CD, Sega CD core onto our SD card. 
I have this console folder that I keep all of my console cores in. So you just simply grab it. It's right here. I already have it on there. I'll just overwrite it, replace it. Boom. You got it on there. Now you got the core, but you're not ready yet. So the next thing you're going to need to do is make a mega CD, Sega CD folder. That's where you're going to put your games and also your, your, your BIOS. Now, one thing of note with the BIOS, I do have a bunch of BIOS files listed here. Uh, you don't have to do it this way, but if you want to manually load a different BIOS that you don't have attached to that boot ROM fi file, you can load up a different BIOS in the, uh, the, the core menu on Mr. if you want. So you could test it out, find, you know, if one doesn't work for you, you can find one that does and then name it the boot ROM. So every time you boot up, it just boots into that specific BIOS. Uh, but down here, I do have the boot ROM, which I believe was probably this one, the uh, uh, BIOS Sega CD USA or CD2 USA version 2.0. I believe that's the one I renamed to boot ROM. Um, and now since I have that in this folder, the mega CD folder where my games are, that is the BIOS file it will use. Otherwise, you would just have to manually select one of these in the menu. Now, the one thing to note is when I was originally testing this, uh, I have tons of different BIOS files and things. Um, and I just grabbed what I thought was my Sega CD BIOS files and I threw them on here. Well, they were unofficial BIOS files and they did not work. I tested several of them and it would not boot. So you do need the official Sega CD BIOS file. Like I said, I didn't test every single unofficial one out there, but I did test a handful of them. Then I realized, oh crap, I'm using the unofficial ones. Let me let me find my uh, folder with my official BIOS files. And these are the ones that I had. So I threw them on there. I've tested a few of these. I haven't had any issues so far using these BIOS files, but just make sure you're not using unofficial ones because for me, they just didn't work. Now I only have a handful of games thrown on here. Um, as you see, I have folders for each one that loads just fine this way, like Final Fight CD. And then I do have all my bin files. You see this multi bin uh, different, you know, there's multiple tracks for this CD game. And then my Q file is down here. This boots up just fine. This is pretty much the way to do it. Just have your folder with your game and all your files in there and it will load just fine. When you select it, I'll showcase that in a second on the mister. It'll just show your Q file. It's not going to show all these bin files. So you don't have to worry about uh, digging through trying to find what to load. It's, it's pretty simple stuff. So there's that. If you did, um, need to update the Mr. Firmware and the menu, uh, which we have here, like the Mr., uh, the newest release. As you see, I just threw it on here, but we would have to get rid of this one and then, uh, you know, delete the, the, the date release here just so it shows Mr. I'm not going to do that, though, because it's not necessary for me because I've already updated. Um, and then the same thing with the, the menu. You would do the same thing, like the menu file, it has the date attached to it, so you drop it over here, delete the date, just so it's menu.rbf. The Mr. Firmware is just Mr. And then you're good to go to get everything loaded up. So let's go ahead and switch to the Mr. Capture. Let's do it. Let's take a look. Okay, so we have the Mr. booted up here. If you put the core on there, fine. You have your BIOS file on there. Uh, everything should be good to go as long as you followed all the steps. Uh, as you remember, I did load my core into that console menu, that directory. So you're going to be looking for Mega CD. Don't look for Sega CD. It's listed as Mega CD right now. We'll go ahead and load that up. It will take a second and the BIOS will load uh, for the BIOS that we selected as the boot ROM, the one that we changed the name the boot ROM. Uh, so you see here, everything is good. Now, if your BIOS doesn't show the Sega CD logos or the Sega logo, uh, then it, it's just not going to work. You may have an image like this that just shows like the moon and the earth in the background but none of the Sega stuff. If that's the case, you're gonna have to find a different BIOS file. Um, and from here, we can go ahead and access our menu and core options by pressing whatever button combination that you have set for that. So from here, we do have a few options. We can insert disc, which is gonna be loading up our game. We'll take a look at that in a second. Reset on insertion, by default, it's yes. Uh, you could change that to no, but once you load a game, it just resets and reloads the BIOS if you have it set to yes. Um, if you have it set to no, it just loads the game. You may just wanna leave it to yes. Shouldn't have any issues. From here, we can load a different BIOS if you have them set. And we also have a region uh, setting here. We can change it to European, US, or Japan. 
Now we can load our BIOS. Let's take a quick look at that just so you can see. Uh, we'll change it to version one Europe. Uh, it should just load up after a second. And as you see, we have the different logo there because we're using a different BIOS. So let's go ahead and get back here. I'm gonna go ahead and reload the version two Sega CD BIOS. So there's that, get back into the settings. Uh, we do have some aspect ratio options here. 16.9, stretch that bitch out, uh, or 4.3. We're leaving it 4.3. Uh, we have the 320 by 224 aspect. You can leave it to original or corrected. Pretty nice little option there. Scan doubler, you have that high quality crap or scan lines. Like I, I've always said, I don't really care for that stuff, but some people do. Um, oops, I keep scrolling over. Uh, border, you have some a border option there. That way you can uh, have no border, or yes, you have that black border around it. Composite blending, on or off. If you have it on, it it just kind of blends it in a composite fashion. As you could, as you could see, it's it's a little blurry now, right? So that's an interesting one. I'll leave that off. Sprite limit, normal or high. Uh, so that's going to be, I believe, like the flicker. I could be wrong, but uh, we'll just leave that to normal for now. Uh, audio filter, model one, model two, minimal, no filter. So you have some options there. And then you also have the FM chip options. Hi-Fi PCM, yes or no. Uh, the core, we could reselect a different core. Define mega CD buttons. That's going to be the one thing you need to do when you first load this up. So we'll hit A on there. Press the corresponding buttons. A, B, C, start mode, X, Y, Z. And then no, uh, we don't want any alternative buttons. Uh, you can also map per game if you so choose. Scale filtering, um, custom, you know, you can you can select something different there if you so choose or just leave it to the internal. Gamma correction on or off. Reset, save settings. And that's it. So let's go ahead and load up, uh, let's load up Final Fight. As long as your BIOS is good, uh, everything should run fine. Press start. Boom, game loads. This is definitely some cool stuff here, guys. Um, a lot of people love Sega CD. There's, you know, it's kind of an underrated system in a sense, but there's so many awesome games for the Sega CD. It, you know, it's just that time, like Sega was just releasing all these add-ons instead of making new systems. Um, a lot of things didn't catch on and get as much support as would have been nice. And, uh, you know, it, it it is what it is, but Sega CD definitely there are a ton of awesome games, in my opinion, that I love playing. Final Fight's a cool one. One of the best ports, man. So let's uh, let's jump into this. Bam. I am using the uh, Retrobit uh, USB Sega Genesis controller, the six-button controller. Works fantastically well. We have some other Mr. Content coming up. I did get a blister. The, you know, the Bliss box type uh, USB hub for Mr. So I've been meaning to do a video on that. Just been a little busy. Um, I definitely want to share my opinions and thoughts on that uh, because, hey, you know, something that I really, really got to talk about. So look forward to that. Um, I'm going to be trying to keep up as much as I can on any developments with Mr. Because there's so much going on out there. But there is that. That final fight working just fine. Boom. Let's go ahead and load up something else. KO Flying Squadron, another uh, awesome game. I don't have very many games loaded up on here right now. Um, I do have the space though. I'm using like 256 uh, gigabyte card. So I definitely have space. I just, I don't want to put the whole library. I just want to put the games I want to play. Don't want to be inundated with choice or games that I will never play. So I try to curate my list a little bit there. So um, I'm definitely going to be adding a few more games in the very near future. So there's that KO Flying Squadron. Let's start this game. There we go. This is a really neat one. A um, lot, of, lot of interesting games that not a lot of people talk about on this system. Um, lot to discover for sure. Really happy to see that this made its way to the Mr. Project so quick. Can't wait to see all the rest of the uh, projects that are being worked on. Damn, get my ass handed to me here. Um, but yeah, really, really digging this project. Let me know as, if there's anything else you guys want to see. I hope this video was of help. Uh, just wanted to you know, share this information with you guys, get y'all set up and ready to go. So, hey, 
really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me. And with that said, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. And boom. Bye.